Welcome to this presentation on a guide to awake proning. This presentation is designed to show you how to safely position and care for a patient in the prone position. During this presentation, we will explain preconditions that should be met prior to putting a patient into the awake prone position, contraindications to the awake prone position, how to set up a bed for the awake prone position, how to move a patient into the awake prone position, general care measures in the awake prone position, documentation of the awake prone position, and how to wean oxygen therapy in the awake prone position. The prone position is used to improve oxygenation in type 1 respiratory failure. It is suitable for all patients with suspected or proven COVID. Prior to putting someone in the awake prone position, you must ensure all of the following preconditions are met. The patient must be requiring oxygen therapy to maintain saturations above 93% and or have a respiratory rate of over 30 breaths per minute and or have saturations less than 95% on room air. The patient must be awake, alert, willing and able to self-position. The patient must be hemodynamically stable. In addition, you must explain to the patient what the position is, the intended objective of improving breathing and avoiding escalation to ventilation. Special consideration should be given to patients with chronic respiratory disease whose normal saturations are lower than 94%. These patients must have a medical review before being put in the awake prone position, which should include specific targets for their oxygen saturations. Position the pillows on the bed as demonstrated. There should be one small pillow for under the head, two pillows for under the chest, two pillows for under the pelvis, and one pillow for under the shins. There should be space between the chest pillows and pelvis pillows for the abdomen to be free and not compressed. This is important as abdominal compression prevents free movement of the diaphragm. It is especially important in patients with obesity. Ensure sheet creases are minimised. The bed should be in a steep head up position. Before asking the patient to move, temporarily disconnect any monitoring and ensure IV cannulae are secure. Raise the sides of the bed if available. Immediately before the patient turns, remove their oxygen mask or nasal cannulae. Supervise their turn, then immediately replace their oxygen mask ensuring it covers their nose and mouth and is not pressing into their eyes. Their head should now be resting on a pillow with either their right or left cheek in contact with the pillow. The patient can turn their head either side as they feel comfortable. The arms may be placed above the head or in whatever position the patient is most comfortable in. Whilst the patient will self-position, the healthcare provider supervising them must ensure the final position is correct. Make sure the abdomen is relatively free. You should be able to comfortably push your hand under the patient's abdomen. If you cannot do this, consider adding an additional pillow under the chest and pelvis to raise the abdomen further. Pressure points should also be reviewed and adjusted to ensure the patient is comfortable. Contraindications to a patient being put in the awake prone position are any of the following. If the patient is not alert at the time of initiation of awake prone positioning therapy, if the patient refuses to try the position, if the blood pressure is low, if the patient is unable to lie in the prone position. An example of this would be if the patient is a trauma patient with spinal injuries or a head injury. Patient observations should be monitored every 15 minutes for the first hour in the prone position. 
Alternatively, if the patient is in an area where continuous monitoring is in place, all monitoring should be replaced when the patient is comfortably in the prone position. The patient should also be checked for ease of breathing. Patients should remain in the prone position for as long as tolerated. Ideally, this should be for up to 16 hours per day. We suggest alternating between four hour blocks in the prone position with one hour rest breaks. Breaks should be used for eating, drinking, using the toilet and relieving pressure areas. It is important to document the start of the awake prone procedure in the patient's unity record. This should be titled Awake Prone Procedure Initiated dash and then your location. In this document, you must record the time of the initiation of the awake prone procedure, the observations before the initiation of the awake prone procedure. This should include heart rate, blood pressure, the oxygen delivery device used, the oxygen saturations and the respiratory rate. You must also record the observations after 15 and 30 minutes of the patient being in the awake prone position. Improvement in oxygen saturations may take many hours in the awake prone position. If the oxygen saturations are over 95% for two hours, then the oxygen therapy can be decreased by 10% or alternatively step down to the next Venturi device or oxygen delivery device. Continue to reduce oxygen support in steps every two hours, aiming for SATs above 95%. Discontinue the awake prone position once oxygen saturations are over 93% on room air. Thank you for watching this presentation. For more information on the awake prone procedure, please refer to the standard operating procedure on the awake prone position in adults or refer to the quick guides to awake proning.